Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you don't already know me, my name's Sam. I am a licensed cosmetologist, and today I am going to share how to use a waiver to get beach waves. If you've been kind of struggling, I feel like a lot of my friends tell me that they love how my hair looks when I do this, but they struggle getting it to look right and getting it to look effortless and not like Lizzie McGuire early 2000s crimped hair. So I'm just gonna share some tips and tricks so that you can get the best results. So the waiver that I'm using is the Bedhead Awave We Go. I got it on Amazon. If you already have a waiver, that's great. I feel like they all are pretty similar, but if you don't already have one, I really highly recommend this one. I like it a lot. It has different types of waves. You can do really, really deep, or you can do really soft and subtle. I usually like to do it on the second setting because I feel like that's kind of in the middle. I don't want them to be too deep. I think the deeper the wave is, that's when it can start looking a little like 2000s. So we want it to look like soft, natural, beachy. So you wanna start off with obviously clean, dry hair. If you have some natural texture to your hair, like a natural wave, I love using this. My hair is naturally curly. I love using this on my hair when it's just like air dried because then I feel like it just looks even more natural because you have this beautiful mix of like wave patterns in there but obviously I blew my hair out last night so we're starting with straight hair which looks great too but don't feel like you have to blow your hair out or like straighten it first so we're just gonna start with a section on the bottom the same way you would you know if you were like curling or straightening your hair I see a lot of people when they're doing this they just hold their waver perfectly horizontal our hair like the shape of our head if you look at like your hairline right it goes in like a diagonal back kind of shape so you always want to do it in a diagonal like this because it's just going to fall more naturally and it's just going to look more natural whereas if you do horizontal it just looks very artificial take a section you don't want it to be too thick and i'm going to hold down at an angle and I don't want to start all the way up at the root, like a couple inches down and clamp down and just hold it there. I have mine turned all the way up to the highest heat setting, which is 400 degrees. So I just hold it there for like maybe 10 seconds and then you'll see how it creates that wave. So you want to follow that pattern with the next section you do, because then if you don't, you're going to have like these weird steps like it's going to look disconnected so make sure you're flowing so right here see how it dips down there that's where i ended the last curl so i'm going to make sure the rod goes in there so i'm following that same pattern just hold it for 10 seconds and let go and there here you have it so then taking my next piece another thing that helps make this look more natural is taking different sized sections and starting at different points because if you're doing it in the same exact spot then every single wave is just going to look exactly the same again it's not going to look as natural and as effortless i feel like this hairstyle the whole point is that it's supposed to be kind of messy and this is one of those things that i do usually fast so don't overthink it too much just kind of grab pieces it's a little bit trickier with short hair because I don't have as much hair to work with. And that section I just did was wider. So now I'm going to do a more narrow section just to give it a little more variety. And I started this one a little bit higher up too. That way you see how like there's some separation. They don't just all curl in together. And you do want to be careful with this. You don't want to hold it in one spot for too long because you don't want to singe your hair off obviously like with a curling iron or flat iron you're keeping it moving this you're literally just holding it in one spot so be mindful of that I don't like to ever hold it there longer than like 10 seconds at a time especially if it's on the highest heat setting <laughs> You 
also want to make sure in order to keep everything looking symmetrical make sure that you're holding it in the same position so you can see i have like the barrel side facing up on both sides no matter what i'm not flipping around and doing it this way i like for the bottom piece to curl up so in order to get that effect i hold it this way if i wanted it to curl under i would flip it the other way but whichever you prefer is fine it doesn't really matter i think it still looks good either way but just make sure that whichever way you decide to do it that you're holding it the same way on both sides of your head because then otherwise it can look a little funny and then when i get to the top section i'm gonna just leave out the front pieces so let me do the sides really quick okay so for these two front pieces you want to make sure that you are starting them at the same level because if you're starting you know this one a lot lower than this side then it's going to look a little wonky if you wear your hair in side part then i guess that's fine but if you're parting your hair down the middle you want to make sure it looks as symmetrical as you can get it and i also don't like to clamp down as long on these front pieces because i just personally this is just like what i have found I think looks best and looks the most natural is when these are like a little bit softer so everywhere else I was holding down for 10 seconds at a time here I'm gonna just hold down for like five or six seconds at a time one two three four five 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 and i was still holding it at an angle you know this way this way once you are finished leave it for a couple minutes let it cool down anytime you're doing any heat style on your hair you want to make sure it cools down before you start messing with it because otherwise it'll just get frizzy and crazy then i like to take some type of texture spray this is the amica undone volume and matte texture spray texturizing spray dry shampoo hairspray whatever you got that you like this style holds up pretty well so you don't have to really worry about going crazy with hairspray in order for it to hold but i do like to just add a little bit of something just add a little bit more texture and then i kind of rub it out because again this is what's going to make it look more natural and effortless give it you know just kind of zhuzh it and then it just softens the waves i'm going to put a little bit of hair oil on the ends this is the Sebastian dark oil I love it. it smells so good just smooth out the ends so it doesn't look too poofy but yeah there you go and I think it looks cute with the short hair but I honestly like when my hair was long this was my favorite hairstyle to do because it looked so good with my long hair but I feel like it honestly looks even better a day or two later like after you sleep on it after it's just had time for like the waves to fall a little bit more I hope that you guys found this video helpful I will link that waiver and the styling products that I used in the description if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up it helps me out that way YouTube will push this out to other people. And if you like tutorials like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have tons more like this, and I am posting a new video every single day in the month of December up until Christmas. So hopefully I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.